again, how do you just as a person, because I think not only is this beneficial for people who play sports or or those who who aspire to do so, I think it's helpful just as a life lesson that how important it is to have that mental toughness and understanding that you have to embrace what you have now in order for you to look ahead and kind of get over the hump. So yeah. was it so like, was it your parents? Like what was, what helped you through that transition? Cause we all need help. And I'm so happy to hear you say, and, you know, shout out to you for doing that in terms of making sure that your mental is okay. Like yeah. never looking away from that because people do that all the time. And that's how they have breakdowns later on because they don't recognize and realize when, Hey, you gotta, you gotta wave the flag to say, I need help. Mm. So what, what helped you get through that tough transition? Um, I may need you to re- re- ask that question because this last part was all my mom all time. Yes. So going through all that, the, the transition, um, for me, this is, this is, I think this is the, the part where I have to check myself the most. So okay. I'm, um, Tell us about it, Jalen. I will. I'm, I'm telling you about it. I'm telling you about it. We had, <laughs> um, we had four. We had four players on our team that year got drafted. Mm-hmm. Me, Mari, Mikael, and um, Dante. Mm-hmm. So, in my position, where I was team leading for uh, national player of the year, all American, all that stuff. To be the last one drafted from my four teammates, I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like okay, mm-hmm. and there's, there's and no disrespect to them. Yeah, you yeah, know the, I love them to death. No, yeah, this is transparent. No, it's good. Like, yeah, I'm like okay, all right, a little little gut check, but mm, yeah. before, and then when beginning of the year, really when I wasn't playing at all, and seeing those guys play more than me, I'm just like, I'm like damn, like am I, do I belong here? Like. Mm. I do I belong here? Questions. And then like, th- th- those are the questions that are like constantly running through my head. Mm-hmm. And then at one point I was like, all right, Jalen, like you cannot compare yourself to these people, right? The, the, the path is different. Everything is different. The situation is different. You can't mm-hmm. compare. So I think the biggest part of me transitioning in the NBA was I can't, com- I'm, I can't compare myself to let alone my, my best friends, my team, my old teammates, to anyone. Yeah. And you can't compare, like, there's some people who are going to be always talked about, who make all the money in the world, or the people who are talked about negatively, who still make a, mo- the most money in the world. Absolutely. Right? There's, there's all these extremes about all these different players and, and the media and all this stuff. Like, you can do yeah. all this stuff. And it's so hard to not, it's so hard not to see it and listen to it. And so when you see people talking about, damn, like we, we wasted a drafting on this kid, we could have got that kid. Like, like we, players see that. Yes. It's not easy. Players, yeah, I know. Talk about that. it. And then even if players delete social media, all the other stuff, they somehow, some way, somehow, some way, it's going to get back to you and you're going to hear it. Yeah. So, I think that made my transition the easiest. Was all right. Those guys are going to be those guys. I'm always going to be proud of them, happy for them, no matter what the situation is. I'm always going to be there for them, Mm -hmm. no matter what. But I can't. I cannot compare myself to them or to anyone because my path is totally different. My situation is different, and I'm going to be different than them. It's just. Mm -hmm. It's just. It's just different. Mm -hmm. So, I think going forward for like people who in any situation. Um, like you just can't compare yourself, your work, or anything to anyone because awesome. it will yeah. never ever be the same. No matter you may have came up the same way, the same path, same school, your path is totally different. It right. may be right yeah. there, but right. No. Or they start up here and you start down here, right? And you're like, oh, and it, it could flip And sometimes it, it could, could, yeah, absolutely. You know, I just appreciate one. Thank you for your transparency and just mm-hmm. being authentic. You know, we say it all the time. We want that's why everyone he's on to here. come on our pod to be authentic because that's what our show is about. But I just appreciate it because all of us do it. We've all been there for myself too. When I see 
um, just friends and people in my circle and even people within in, in the same space, in the HR space. And I've seen them and I'm working hard. I care because you have some folks who are in the world of people and culture, aka human resources, who don't give a shit. They care about a paycheck. And right. it hurts me because I come in and I truly care about people. I care about culture. And when I see other people soar at different levels and or make more money than I'm making, you have that human a, moment. It's like, right. It's like a gut, yeah. a punch in a gut. I'm like, what? what the fuck is happening here? Yeah, like, yeah. how is this happening? Like, and it's hard. And I've been there. I've been in tears. I've been in self-doubt. You know, I've been at places where I had that moment where I said, like, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. So all of us experience that. So I, you know, shout out to you again, just for being authentic about it, but recognizing it so that way you can push yourself forward. So- now look at yeah, you. That, that was, yeah, literally that was my biggest fight. And that was my biggest fight.